So this is my uh, most recent build that I wasn't actually planning on sharing originally. But um, after the passing of Eddie, I decided to change up what I was doing a bit as kind of a, not just a tribute to him, but a tribute to, uh, according to Les Paul, the three kind of most influential, influential um, guitar innovators were Eddie Van Halen, Les Paul, and Leo Fender. So I kind of, you know, have a P90 in here and humbuckers and a Stratocaster um, pickup. And um, of course, Eddie Van Halen themed. And uh, the reason why I was decided to share it is I was looking for a wiring diagram of this particular setup with four pickups. Now the fourth pickup is a little different, but anyway, um, I couldn't find it, so I just figured I'd share this in case somebody else was looking to do something similar. Because if, usually if I can't find something, maybe somebody else is looking for it too, even though I guess sometimes my things I build are a little obscure. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll just lay it over there on my uh, bench and just kind of describe a little bit more of what I have going on here. So the way I did this, um, I tried to match, well, these are in order of the pickups, obviously, but I tried to match the kind of age, like I thought this was my oldest looking Gibson style um, knob. And I, this is kind of like one you'd find on a Les Paul, so I use that for the humbucker. This is a Strat style. And this is just another Strat style that I had for the uh, piezo there. So the way these are wired up, I'll, I'm not an artist with drawing, but I'll draw a little wiring diagram because I wasn't able to find a diagram for this configuration online. So I have it wired up like a, uh, similar to a jazz bass. Um, so they're all, all wired together um, and they can be blended. So you can, you can just vary there's so many different i can't show everything but there's obviously very bunch of different uh ways you can blend it you can you know turn them all down and just use one at a time that's four and then you can blend them you can put two together it's uh, you know unlimited um so when you hear my demo you'll hear how it sounds a little bit but I'm not really a guitar player. I just enjoy working on them and having fun with it. Um, for the pickups, I just built those up with um, pieces of wood. And I think I actually put a couple of coins under there too, just to get the right height since it, there's no pick guard anymore. This, you can probably tell, this is from the back of the Lion guitar that had this humbucker. This is um, the control cavities cover. I might have cut it a little bit just to get it to fit. But this is the original shape of that. I left it like that, I, I just fine. And um, to do these paint jobs, I, I've i done a couple. I, uh, I didn't have a video where I showed how I painted it, but I basically had a black guitar, so I used the black already. I used that for the stripes of the black. So I'll take the guitar and tape over what I want to look black, and then spray paint it white then tape leave this tape leave that tape over the black and then tape over the white where i want to be white and then spray paint it red and then i can just from there i can just distress it um and then i added i bought some letters and numbers so i used them as tape i put them down over the white and then painted it and then i kind of you know distressed it up a bit this one came out pretty decent I like it. Um, it was never a really great playing guitar, but it's it plays pretty well. Um, the brand was Stag, and someone gave this to me to to do, you know, whatever I wanted with it, like far as to use it for parts. All right, here's a rare, very crude drawing that I did. 
of the wiring, the way I did the wiring. Um, I didn't find this online, so I just drew this up myself. If anyone can find, you know, an actual schematic, you know, let me know. But, well, the first thing you do, I have four, only the four volume pots and no tone, is you bend this lug over and you solder it to the back. That's what I show here on this drawing. So you bend that over, solder it to the back. And you also need, which I don't have in this picture, is to solder a ground wire from the pot, the volume pot, to the uh, bridge. Okay, so each of these are just two wire pickups. And the ground from each pickup will come out and go to be soldered to the back. The hot will come out and be soldered to the middle lug right there, right in the middle. And then the one to the left will come out and go down to the next volume pot in line on that same lug. So you do that for each of them. And then, so each time you go ground to the back, hot to the middle, and the one on the left will go to the next. So from here, and then it'll go to the next one. Um, then finally, this, this is the last pot, which in this case is my P90 coming out. And then that one comes down to my output jack, which... This is the ground, and this one is the hot. So it goes from the lug all the way to the left, down to the hot, and from the back of the volume pot to the ground. And um, that's just very similar to a jazz bass, except for there's no tone, and there's two more pickups. Thank mm -hmm. you. 